Do you like my blue eyeshadow? Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I know I just wanted to play with blues today. So there you go. You're welcome. Today is a double whammy video. Yes, it is still a Camille Rose Naturals one. Not only did I manage to apply these two today, but I also managed to apply them on smaller sections. I figured if I did everything separate, you'll be getting a thousand Camille Rose Natural videos for me. I mean, that's a lot. So I figured why not just do both with the smaller sections so you guys can see the results. And let's take a pause for just one second. Remember how I said the caramel co-wash didn't feel as smooth? I used it again today. I had the same experience. And then I looked at my hands. And by the way, I counted my pumps. I used like 24 pumps. For my hair to feel fully saturated, yeah. That's a lot of product. I don't know how long that's gonna last with this little bottle, but I digress. I looked at my hands and they were sudsing. And I heard the sudsing noise while I was working it through. And then I looked at the label and it reads, apply cleansing cream to each section, then use fingers to gently massage the scalp. Nowhere does it say to use a wide tooth comb. Hmm. And then I realized it's like an actual Shampoo, a very low, low, low sudsing one, but that's probably why it didn't feel like an actual conditioner because it's not really. So I wanted to make a note about that because I didn't want my description to offset what the product is supposed to do, what it's designed to do. Yes, it's a co-wash, but it's still sudsy in the very slightest way. That's why it doesn't feel smooth because it's not really a conditioner and she does have a conditioner that you rinse out. I don't have that product. I would like to get my hands on it and when I do, I will talk about it on here. Okay, now back to Curl Maker and Curl Love. These are the results in applying the Curl Love and Curl Maker together in six sections. I will leave each video down below in the description box my review and demo of the Curl Love alone and my review and demo of the Curl Maker alone. I did also do a demo for this combination. I wasn't gonna leave you out of that. And let's just say any curls that were left out in my previous videos are now here. They're all here. I mean, check out, look at this shine. It is so shiny and I love how my curls look and although I put a lot of product in here relatively I pretty much put a dollop of curl love and curl maker on for each section and I also applied a little bit of the fresh curl as well before those two so I got some product in here and even though I really went in with the creams and the gels it still feels light there's some shape to it, there's some bounce to it, there's still movement present. I put in a lot of gel as well, and there is no cast, there is no snowflake action. So it feels... The word crispy doesn't apply because it still has some give to it. So it does wrap a cast around the hair, but it's not aggressive. It's not like Eco Styler cast. You know what I'm talking about. I have to be honest and say that I like my hair, or rather I love my hair when it's bigger and froier. This is, I really love the definition and I love how you can see each and every freaking curl. And I'm sure my hair is well moisturized. I mean, the ingredients in these products are top notch and for sure it does not feel dry and it is super healthy. I just like to apply in bigger sections because I just like the shape of my hair when I do it in that way. But I wanted to show you guys how I applied in the smaller sections and who knows when you see the demo you could have or you probably will think she could have applied in even smaller sections. I am a very impatient naturalista and the six sections you saw me work with today, that's all you're gonna get. And also, I don't think I want that much product in my hair, and like I said before, when I apply in smaller sections and I put a bunch of product, it kind of falls down. I want it to stay up, 
but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. And another point is I always pretty much put my hair up. So when I do that, the sides and the front and the back backs get stretched and usually if I want to revive my hair I'll have to go in with more product and water and rake through so it can reactivate and look like a fro again and I figured why go through this process when I have to do more of that if I want to get my hair to look like this again after a pineapple style and I get it it's it's preference and if you're not going to do anything with your hair if you're not going to put it up in a poof then yes sectioning into smaller parts will make sense because it does maintain longevity or it does give the hair longevity in its style for second third or maybe four days after the first application but if you're in an active lifestyle like myself i feel that when i do wash and goes i don't spend so much time in the smaller sections because it's just gonna go up and i just need enough product to give shine definition and hydration so that's why i don't go ham on the sectioning that's because of my lifestyle and also how how I like my hair to look after a wash and go big froey and just you know like up to here you can see the difference in shape here when I apply on two sections versus six and also I realize when using more product and applying the smaller sections is I have to keep refluffing or else it will just do that so I definitely have to shake it up when I want it to float up but that's okay I find that when it's bigger because I applied in smaller sections I don't have to do that as much but again that's just how I like to wear my hair to which is own whatever you like to do I support it what I really like about applying in smaller sections is that if I choose to do an updo my curls are like popping like the side ones here are like so pretty they're cascading down look at look at this like swirl baby hair pool going on whoa so i'm not mad at like these parts how defined and shiny it is look at that little guy over there hey so there are definitely pros and cons to having my hair like this. If I was just aiming for a basic wash and go and wanted to have my hair big, I definitely would rather just apply to smaller sections so it could be bigger and fluffier. If I was doing an updo or a more intricate style, which I rarely do, I know I'm so boring. But if I was, I would apply in smaller sections so you get the side curl action pop in and there's just more definition going on so whatever updo your styling it will look very beautiful so yes i recognize there are definitely pros to the smaller sectioning i get it i let it air dry scratch that i did scrunch a tiny bit with my diva curl towel just to speed up the drying process and i also went in with my hair dryer mostly to the crown and to address the inside of my hair because when that's wet it weighs it down and it doesn't show its true shape when it's fully dry. So I wanted to give you guys the final shape after my hair is completely dry. Because ideally, I rely on air dry time for sure. But when I'm short on time and I need to go to bed, then yes, I use the hair dryer. And here's just some views from the side. You can see because of the product, my hair kind of falls down in this like... And also my hair is in a weird shape anyway. I haven't gotten it cut in quite some time and that is totally my fault. So the shape my hair is in is not because of the product but because of just it's... I'm dealing with different lengths, they're not falling properly and yeah, this is what we get, I'm sorry. But enough of me rambling. If this is the first Camille Rolls Naturals video you're tuning into on my channel, check out my other videos down below. I'll leave the links for texture, fragrance, and price. Because I already spoke about these products separately in my previous videos, I'm just running through them quickly in terms of how they look applied together and in smaller sections. So that's why I didn't go into those details on this video. But anyway, let's get to it. 
Now we got a new bandu top on. Wash with the caramel co wash, conditioned with Divacurl's decadence, and sectioned six parts. Look at that. When with fresh curl first, and then with curl love and curl maker. Starting with the bottom section. Just a dollop of the curl love first to rake through and to smooth out. Then with a pump's width of curl maker, I use my fingers in the same way to apply. And I basically repeat that same process to each section. And that, my friends, is how we get this wash and go. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope this helped. And again, feedback is always welcome. And I know I'm going to get some feedback about my obnoxious 80s blue eyeshadow. So let's hear them. I'm ready. But yeah, let me hear your experience in using Curl Love and Curl Maker together if you have. I probably will already have uploaded my butter gel video. I'm having some feelings about the butter gel, you guys. I really loved how it made my hair feel. It made it feel so silky, so soft, without it feeling greasy or over product residue like and I love the definition it gave without it being a gel gel and I had a hard time and I'm sorry that I was moving around so much in that video I was editing it I'm like why am I like this all the time and I think I was trying to figure out my hair and how I felt about it so I was just like you know try to tune in and I'm like my poor viewers are like what the F is she doing Calm down. So I marinated on it for another day and I really love the butter gel. I love it more, I think, than the Curl Love and the Coconut Style Setter. I could try the Coconut Water Style Setter again, maybe apply it in, uh, maybe apply more to smaller sections this time around. If you want to see that, let me know down below. If you want to see smaller sections with the butter gel and you want to see smaller sections with the coconut water style setter. Okay, thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate your continued support. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, friends, I'll see you on here again and have a good one.